Hey, so what's going on guys? May here with Driven Tech Reviews and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I got a case for the Galaxy Z Fold 6. So this case is the RRE case Aeroflex. So the reason why I picked this over many other brands is because this has the secret feature right here. Coming from the iPhone, you know what I mean. This is actually MagSafe compatible. So that's what makes this case a great case, especially if you are coming from the Apple ecosystem with all the MagSafe stuff and the MagSafe chargers, the MagSafe wallet. Or if you do want to get involved in some of the MagSafe accessories, you can actually get a case that has the MagSafe magnets built in, which honestly, I think is the best accessory standard in today's world. So right now, I'm actually rocking this case from XUNDD. This is a... Uh, China made case obviously and you can see there's an inbuilt screen protector and you can see that it's full of oil stains as usual so I actually did get the ring K tempered glass which I'll be installing on the phone before I install this case so yeah this case has uh, honestly served me well since the day I picked this up which is uh, I used it for like a couple of days and uh, I wanted something better I wanted a tempered glass screen protector just because not only does this have a lot of fingerprints this also has a lot of reflection, you can see right here. Tons of reflection, which means that it degrades the quality of the screen. And I honestly do not like that. So yeah, here comes the RRE case. So yeah, you can see in front here, this is actually made for Samsung. With something like made for Apple, it's actually like certified, which means that it will work properly and the cutouts will be spot on. So that's actually what I'm looking for in the case. So you can see slim MagSafe full cover. So this has also hinge protection. You can see right here. So yeah, I'm always looking for accessories that actually give more than just uh, basic protection. So yes, some extras. Of course, I do want to keep this thin. So this is actually a very thin case. So in terms of protection wise, this is definitely not a six foot drop protection kind of case. This is more like a scratch protection and slight bumps. Yeah, because this is actually a polycarbonate case, which means there's hard plastic along with a uh, of course, the only thing that I think that's soft about this case is actually the part where the hinge is. And that's about it. So I got this in the black color. This also comes in the green color as well. So if you're interested in that color. This is actually made in Korea. So similar to Spigen, you know, they all come from Korea. So, okay, let's go through the features. So you can see hinge protection, makes it compatible, slim and lightweight. Vivi and Bio, whatever, this is all the additional marketing fluff. So this has no adhesive, which is something good. I've seen many of the Spigen ones where they have actually the adhesive. And not only Spigen, many other brands also have that. And I'm not too keen on the adhesive because, yeah, even though they say it doesn't leave any residue, but if you're the type that uh, likes to change cases or swap sims and do stuff like that, then, yeah, it's kind of inconvenient to have the adhesive because it's a one-time stick kind of adhesive. So yeah, you have to keep on replacing and of course, there's a limited number of times you can actually keep on replacing the adhesive. So whatever comes in the box, that's what you get. I don't think there's any other option to actually buy extra adhesive. So yeah, I prefer something that's actually clip on like this. So this is the first time I'm actually using this brand. I actually did some research and then I found out about this brand. But anyways, uh, we'll take a look at it. Okay, so let's see what comes in the package. I believe that's about it. Let me just check the box. Alright, so in the box, we get a starch bag. What is this? This is ins installation instructions. You can see they're in Korean and English as well. So yeah, you can pause this and read it for yourself if you're interested to see how this case clips onto the device. But we're here to check out the case itself. Alright, so let me just try to open this touch bag. It's a one-time thing. Yeah, touch bags don't last in unboxings. Let's quickly get this out. Alright, so here we have an insert. So you just put that to the side. Okay, so this case comes in two parts. I was initially thinking of the Pitaka case because, yeah, a slight bit more money you can get, like a branded case and stuff like that. But uh, apparently not because Pitaka only comes in the back portion and I think that's not adequate enough because the front is still exposed. All right, so this comes in two portion. So, of course, the back, you can see right here, this is actually a sort of a rubber-ish feel. So let's take a look at this, the MagSafe magnets, you can see there, MagSafe ring built in. And yeah, you can see all these knobs right here, they're not going to scratch your device because that's where this part comes in. I'll show you guys later on. Okay, in terms of the 
protection just basically bump and scratch protection these are cut out corners so it makes it easy to install okay take a look at the front portion give you guys a close-up look see right here no shock cushion or whatever technology right here it's just a very simple plastic case so yeah i like the construction it's uh, pretty solid as well so you can see our rebranding and of course the slits where it's going to go into this portion right here so basically when you fold it and unfold it it basically just slides on these like rails basically that's what happens so very interesting very interesting design i love how they executed this all right so let me pop off this case and then we will go on to install the Aeroflex case from Arari. All right guys, so now that I've gotten the phone prepped for the case install, trying to do this all in one take. So yeah, we're going to be installing it right here. So the instruction is actually to open up the phone and then lay it flat down, but I, I'm a bit skeptical on that. So I'm just going to leave it closed just because I do not want to damage the inside screen when I lay it flat. So yeah, of course you do want to wipe down your device before putting it in the case because I do not want to try taking this out because it's a hard case and you know, hard cases, yeah, they tend to be quite hard to remove because I'm trying to do this one shot. Okay, so I'm going to just lay it down flat right here because I do have it inside the grooves. I've seen people struggling with this, so I'm uh, kind of paranoid actually. So, all right. So let's do the back first. Let's try to get the back aligned. Let's clip it in. Can we do that? Yes. All right. So we have the back clipped in. Let me just try to get this all in. Yeah. Okay. This is good. Okay. One more side. All right. We're more or less good to go. Let me give the hinge a wipe down. All right. So now let's slap on the front portion. So I believe this should be pretty easy, I hope. Okay. So let's just fold it right here. Let's try to get the front portion in without damaging the phone. You should hear a snap. Yes. One side in. Okay. I believe that's about it. Yeah. Okay, let's try to open the fold. Yeah, so this is actually how it looks like from the back. Yeah, so it actually works pretty well. The install was, wasn't that bad. I was just paranoid about breaking the inner display. So yeah, okay, let's take a look at all the cutouts. So you can see the cutouts. I have a Rinke tempered glass because I've just installed it. You can see right here. Let me just give you a closer look at the earpiece. Very nice fitment with this glass protector. Let's go at the speaker cutout. In the USB-C microphone. All looks on point. Top, you can see the other speaker and the other three microphones. Yeah, this is actually the hinge protection. So you can see a very subtle or rebranding right here. So actually what happens is when you open it, it folds at the back of the case. So you can see right here, it just goes in. So really, really smooth. No issues right there. Camera cut out. I have the Rinky tempered glass camera protector. Everything works. So I did try this lens protector with my other case, which has the individual cutouts. Yeah, and it didn't work. That means this China case is uh, basically unusable. Okay, let's look at the cutouts at the side. Very nice space for your fingerprint reader and your volume, of course. The other case I had trouble using the fingerprint scanner is because it had a small bump right here so I wasn't able to get my thumb in the right position or any of my fingers in the right position because I did register my middle finger as well on my left hand because I'm right handed if I do use my left hand I will use it something like this but most of the time using my thumb or otherwise if it's on the table I'm using my index and and that the previous case just didn't work out so you can see right here it just Get this right here so yeah you can see right here no issues let's try to get to the edge panel no problem right there of course you do need short nails if you have long nails yeah it's going to be a quite of a thing and then swapping from the bottom 
yeah right there you can see they actually did think about it so if you do want to use samsung pay or just use the swipe gestures yeah it definitely work i wish i had a small cutout at the side here but apparently doesn't have that so even with the tempered glass you can see the lay on the table protection is really really good right here you see so much lay on the table protection which is something i like even the camera protection i do have a lens protector so yeah it sticks out quite a bit just enough so it's flush really really nice so i'm honestly really happy with this case i didn't expect this case to actually turn out this good and the texture of course is a uh, matte texture i would say it's not really matte it's more like a satin texture so it's yeah uh, i would say it's not that grippy on the table even if you put face down it's still going to be sliding around a bit but overall yeah it does a job i most of the time keep this in the bag or in my pocket so yeah in terms of uh, feel in the hand really nice this is a uh, still leave some kind of a gap right here so i hope dust doesn't get in uh, in the long run okay guys so before i end this video i just want to test out magsafe so yeah the whole point i bought this case is because of magsafe so i do have uh this magsafe battery pack right here so let's slap it on the back you see whether it charges and you click you can see right here it's charging let me do that one more time See, it's charging pretty good. Of course, uh, in terms of the position, I believe it's a little bit higher than what I would have expected. Yeah, there's no way I can get it flush. I expect it to be somewhere around here. But it's slightly higher, but it's alright. As long as it gets me the charge. So overall, MagSafe works. So if it works with this, it will definitely work with all the other MagSafe accessories and chargers. Alright, so... That's all for this video, guys. Hope you guys like it. If you do like it, give it a thumbs up. And also subscribe to this channel for more content just like this one. I will have more cases and more stuff, more accessories for this phone coming up soon. So do stay tuned. I'll catch you guys in the next video.